Hello, my name is Victoria Yampolsky. I'm the president and founder of the Startup Station, and this is our weekly strategic finance tips. This is our second video on a break-even analysis. Please watch our first one uh, on the number of subscriptions and that we released last week. This one is on go-to-market strategy. And so what we want to do here is determine what marketing budget do I need to generate enough sales to cover 10 million in fixed costs. And then we're going to do it for a marketplace business model. So what do we need to do to uh, perform this analysis? We need to uh, assume a certain conversion rate and we need to know what marketing strategy we use, right? So for this example, we're going to assume one marketing strategy, which is digital marketing. We're going to assume a conversion rate of 3.5% on the budget. Then we need to know what happens, right? How do we get to revenues and if there are any variable costs. We're going to assume for this example, the 2% of all new leads make a purchase with a credit card. So we need to consider credit card variable costs. And then the average purchase is $50. Okay, so let's calculate it uh, for our go-to-market strategy example. Here we have the fixed cost of 10 million, the digital marketing uh, uh, conversion rate of 3.5%. Number of new leads making a purchase of 2%, average purchase price $50. And I also provided assumptions for variable costs. Variable credit card fee is 2.9% and fixed credit card fee uh, 0.3, right? Uh, dollars. And so what it means is that you pay 2.9% on all um, revenues uh, that use a credit card, and then you pay 30 cents per transaction. So again, our break-even marketing budget is the input. We can just make it 5 million um, so that we have a number or 50, let's make it 5 million. Um, and then let's build the logic that will allow us to calculate what this number should be to break even. So the first step is to calculate the number of leads. To be conservative, we're going to use the floor function. Number of leads cannot be partial. We're going to multiply our marketing budget by the conversion rate. Uh, you will get the conversion rate from the industry norm in your case. Now, we know that the number of customers will be 2% of the leads, so we can do this as well. We're going to use the uh, floor function as well to be more conservative, and then we, that gives us our revenue because each customer will spend $50. Okay, now uh, let's calculate our costs. Uh, so our costs are going to be 2.9% on the revenue. And we're also going to pay 30 cents on the number of transactions, which is the number of customers, right? And so our gross profit is going to be revenue minus variable costs and minus fixed costs. Our fixed costs are 10 million. And what we need to do is uh, to make sure that the difference between our gross profit and uh, fixed costs is as close to zero as possible. Now, the reason why I may not get to zero exactly is because we have whole numbers, not partial, and so it may not solve exactly, but it doesn't matter as long as it's close, it's immaterial. So now let's increase the budget to 15 million and see what that does uh, to 15 million. It still didn't do much. So how about we're going to increase it to 25 million? Okay, to 50 million. Okay, <laughs> you can see this model isn't very uh, viable because of the 252 million. Okay, 260 million, uh, 300 million. Okay, so maybe a little less like 290 million. Okay, 295 million, 297 million, 298 million. Okay, 300 million. Okay, so I think I uh, erased. Okay, let's, let's see, we can get to as close to zero as possible. So maybe the uh, answer will be somewhere. Okay, so we're almost there. Okay, so let's just do 
Okay, so there we go. So the answer is really, um, So the answer is 296 million and 80,000 for the break even. And, and you can see that if this is the case, this is an incredibly non-attractive model, right? Because if it takes you 296 million in order to uh, cover 10 million cost, of course, this is not a feasible business. And this is precisely the point behind this analysis. Thank you for watching. If you like this video, please share with your friends and colleagues. Subscribe to our YouTube channel for more very useful videos every Tuesday and follow us on social media. If you want to learn how to build credible financials, please um, sign up to our free masterclass at Build Credible Financials for Your Venture. The link is in the description. Thank you again and see you next week.